Okay, so now that we've got our profile created, what do we do with this profile? So what I'm doing now, I'm, I'm in Bridge. Mo most of my workflow, I start out, I import through Bridge, I go directly to Camera Raw, and then I do some tweaking through Lightroom, mostly through Photoshop, but I like to have the ability of going back and forth. So for right now, we're gonna go directly from Bridge, and we're gonna open up our image into Adobe Camera Raw, just by simply double-clicking it. Um, once this file has been opened, you'll see that it goes directly into Camera Raw. And now to apply the profile, you're gonna need to come directly over to the Camera Calibration tab. So click on that tab, and we're gonna use this little drop-down so the original profile that we have here is gonna be Studio Tungsten Canon Color Checker Mini. And once you've applied that, you'll see those colors are just popping right out. Just to show you that again, we'll toggle that preview. There's off, and now it's been applied. Definitely giving you a much richer, much more elegant look to your images. Um, another very, very nice tool I, I did want to show you as well, we're going to cancel here. Using camera profiles and going into your third-party software does not need to be a monotonous process. It can be done very quickly and part of the, the big advantage of using a DNG profile is that you now have the ability to process multiple images using that profile at, at the same time or simultaneously. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select a bunch of these pictures of the flowers that we just took images of. And now we're gonna open them back up in Camera Raw again. Once all of these images are open, as you can see, I definitely have some work ahead of myself. Some of these have not been touched at all and so they're uh, especially this first one, a bit on the overexposed. But this is the image we're gonna go back to. This is the one that we were originally looking at. And we're gonna go back over here and select Studio Tungsten Canon and apply the camera profile. Now, that looks really good, but we've got all these other images open here as well. Let me show you just how simple it is to apply this to multiple images. Now we're gonna, leaving the original one open that we have now just added the calibration to, we're gonna click on Select All, and then go to our Synchronize option. This now brings up a very cool synchronized functionality within your Camera Raw software. It's going to allow you to sync everything, all your settings simultaneously, or just specific settings. So for the purpose of what we're doing here today, I'm not going to touch anything except for the camera calibration. And as soon as I click OK, you're now going to see from this little icon here, that camera calibration has been applied all the way across the board on all of these images and it was all done simply with one click. That's how easy it is to use the color checker software and apply it to multiple images. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cancel out of here. And now let's go back and reopen that up. So we're gonna open it back up in Camera Raw once again. We're going to go back down to the image that we were originally working with. And then once again, we're going to click on Camera Calibration. Now here, I also have got a new dual illuminate profile, and we're going to pop that bad boy in. And as you notice, it's giving me the same great results that I was seeing when I used the original profile shot only in these lighting conditions. The reason for that is that dual illuminate profile has the ability to take all that data and see where that shift needs to take place. So now once again we're going to go ahead and select all 
click on our synchronize option and as we left the setting before the only thing that's going to be chosen is going to be the camera calibration simply click OK and once again we're seeing that the little icon is showing that every image has now been converted over to use the new camera calibration awesome color that was before and that's after just enough to give us a nice rich color and deep saturation so that you can see exactly what that profile is doing for you once again before and after and that's how easy it is to apply this across the board to multiple images.